Hi beauties, welcome back or welcome if this is your first time here, first time here at my stash on my channel. Glad you are here. Always happy to see you. Um, happy New Year to everybody. It is the first day of the new year. I hope everybody had a safe New Year's Eve. I want to get some new products in my stash. I did not go back and look at my last video, but I'm pretty sure it's been close to a month since I've updated things. So definitely overdue for some new stuff in here. Uh, I don't even know where to start. I'm just gonna start grabbing things. Uh, the first thing here is this Elemis, the Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. I really like this. Um, it doesn't really do a whole lot that I find as far as like longevity for my makeup. It doesn't prolong the wear time, but you can probably tell on the bottle, like it's not, it's an opaque bottle, but I feel like they made the color of it kind of you know, look like the product itself. This is almost exactly, well, it is exactly the color of the, it sort of has the consistency of a lotion. It has this same color of like this pinky champagne, just like pearl in it. It just gives a really, really lovely glow and just healthy look to my skin. I enjoyed using that. My Auric Glow Lust I've had in here. I've had one of my two Glow Lusts in my stash for like the last couple months. I always enjoy using them. You know how I feel if you watched my like Best of Beauty 2021. I mean these, this stuff always makes it into my, my best lists. So I actually think I'm, I'm probably going to keep one in just moving forward. I have two of them and there's so much product in each one that I've I've got to make some headway here. That's just my sponge. I've got my brow, bra oh, my brush is in here. And that doesn't need to be in here. Uh, foundations, so I have my Joa. This is the Joa Crystal Glow Prime Dation with Hyaluronic Acid, Collagen, and Crystallide. Um, I have thoughts about this. I I think that this looks really nice on the skin um, like immediately after I put it on but I don't know I am finding or I have found with this rotation that I'm just I'm not the biggest fan of it overall I don't think that it it's very very thick uh, it's full coverage I don't know it's just it's not really like my preference in a base product nowadays so I don't I pretty typically am not a huge fan of like these all-in-one products like primers and foundations all in one so that's kind of my own fault I should have known that going in but I think I actually am gonna get rid of this like I with the amount of base products I have in my collection I it, with something just not working for me, not being a favorite, it makes no sense for me to keep this around. So that's actually going to go. Uh, my other foundation, which is not going anywhere, is, I mean, this stuff is just so lovely, you guys. The Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation. I have the shade, what do I have? CN20 Fair. There you go. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. I, I talked about this in my best of beauty as well. It's a serum foundation. So yes, it is a little bit thinner in consistency, but it has just the most lovely coverage. Okay. Sorry. Um, <laughs> just, it, this is just great. I love the consistency, but I love like still the amount of coverage that you get with it it's buildable it can be like a very natural light foundation but you can build it up to like a medium i love the finish of it it's just it's lovely my pat mcgrath blurring under eye powder was in here you guys know how i feel about this it's one of my absolute favorites absolute staples i also had in my oh let me grab my other one 
I had both of my Victoria Beckham uh, lid lusters in here. I have Mink and Tea Rose. Tea Rose was the shade that I had lusted over for the longest time and it's beautiful, but I actually had so much more fun using Mink. I actually think Mink is like the more unique beautiful shade of the two like it just there's so much more dimension to it and texture and just reflectiveness uh, but I really liked using both of those as far as palettes go I'm not I'll throw in a couple looks with this palette but I had the Natasha Denona Zendo in here and I just did my one week one palette with this so all of my looks are in that video but um this palette is just okay it's just okay in my opinion it's there's really nothing terribly wrong with the formula it's just um i don't know it was just kind of like an underwhelming experience using this more so but i'm gonna keep it my dalton doll squad palette you know how i feel about this i love using this i actually reached for the mats in this a lot a lot a lot over the last month um but yeah love every look I get with this. It's just stunning. And then lastly, I had my Nabla Cutie palette in here. If you watched my declutter video that just went up, you know that I'm actually going to be decluttering this. Not because it's not beautiful. You know, I love the Nabla formula. I love all the shimmers, but it's just like, I don't know. I have a lot of these shades um, multiple places in my collection, but I really, really did enjoy using this, created some really beautiful looks, but it is unfortunately leaving us. Okay, and then the last um, palette I had in here was my face palette. This is the Natasha Denona, I'm gonna flip it upside down, the Diamond and Blush palette. So she's got some cream products here, cream blush, cream highlight, and then some really just stunning powder products. This is probably the my favorite face palette in my collection. I used this quite a bit. Everything just works beautifully. It's, it's effortless. I did not use these, you guys. My Vision Flushes. Mm, should I keep them around? I'm tempted to. I don't know. I'm going to keep them just because I I really liked them. I just kind of forgot about them. I had my Flower Beauty Jet Set Invisible Powder Spray. I really like this. This is, I mean, exactly what it says, an invisible powder spray. It just gives you like this beautiful, almost like the same kind of like blurred or like soft just sort of like soft look to your face that a powder would if you set your whole face with powder um but that i, I don't do that <laughs> so this was a good alternative for that i i really enjoyed that oh, and then i'm just gonna show you my progress here on my fenty what it do Ugh, i'm almost almost done i'm gonna keep this in and all my like face and cheek products um my concealers the collab my only my one and only color corrector i'm gonna keep in here i have the shade peach i've been using this a lot i love it and then i had my nyx bear with me uh concealer serum in here i have the shade vanilla i really like this it is yeah it's definitely a serum it's a little bit more liquidy but you still get a really decent amount of coverage, but it's not like too, too much. If you know me and my preferences, I don't like a lot of concealer. So this is just kind of like the best of both worlds. I like the coverage, but it's not thick. Um, yeah, I really like this. My Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I have the shade Be My Highlight. This is really pretty. Um, it's just a really pretty, like, sort of more natural looking highlight, if you can even, I mean, it's hard to even discern. It's so natural looking. And I think actually, I've been thinking on this a lot. Every time I used this, this rotation, um, I enjoyed it, but it's like, I don't think I need it. I don't think I need it, and I've just recently been in the mood to 
get rid of things that I'm not in love with. And this is something that I'm definitely not in love with. I mean, it's a fine product. Like, it's fine. It's very affordable. If you're a person who doesn't own a small makeup store like myself and you're wanting something that just looks beautiful on the skin, is affordable, is a nice color, it's not like too icy, this is a good option. But I personally don't need it. I had two bronzing sticks in here. I have the nude sticks. Uh, is it Bondi Bay or Bondi? I never know. I always say Bondi. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm almost done with this. Like that is all I have left. And I think I'm going to keep this in because it would be really nice to get rid of a product. Um, but I love that. I mean, clearly. I've almost used the whole thing. I used this quite a bit more. This is the Makeup by Mario sculpting stick in light medium. I just adore this. I absolutely adore this. This is one of the most beautiful, most fun like products and launches that I tried this past year. Um, another bronzer that I had in this past month is the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer in Sweet Tea. This made its way into my best makeup of 2021. I just adore this so much, you guys. I already, I, I don't know how much you can tell, but I already have a huge dip in this pan. It's just, it's just lovely, lovely on the skin. One of my favorite powder bronzers. Blushes, I had my Pat McGrath blushes in here. These also made their way into the best stuff of this year. Um, I don't even know what to say about these. Like these are on everybody's favorite list for good reason. There's just something special about this formula. Like there just is. If you have them, if you've used them, you know what I'm talking about. They're so, so much fun to use and just beautiful. I had my Fenty highlighter duo, the Kilowatt duo in Mean Money and Hustla Baby. Um, I really think this is beautiful too. I've had this for a while now, um, coming up on two years. And while I really like it, um, I am getting a little bit of hard pan here. I don't know how much you can tell. Um, it's lovely, but I actually think I'm going to get rid of this. It's, it's served its purpose. It's, it really is beautiful, but I just don't need it. Finishing up this drawer. Um, this is going to stay in. This always stays in. This is the only powder that I ever use. Like on the rare occasions that I want to set my whole face with a loose powder, this is the Pat McGrath. Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting Powder in Light Medium 2. That always stays in there. I had my Melt Blush in Honey Thief. Gorgeous color. It does not look exciting. Doesn't look like a whole lot in the pan, but it is beautiful on the cheeks. I actually really, really want some of their cream blush lights. And then I had my Honest Beauty the cream cheek and lip color i have coral peach used this several times this is just quickly becoming like a, a favorite the color the formula it's very very easy to use it's super pigmented it is a little bit more balmy it does not dry down to a powder on my cheeks so like i wouldn't wear it if i were having to go out and wear a mask but it's lovely and finishing up with lip products, I had two Milani lipsticks in here, the Matte Blissful. Surprisingly, I think I wore this one the most. I wore this probably at least three times. I know I wore it on camera a couple times. It's just a beautiful, like, ever so slightly, like, cool leaning, like, pink, mauve. I don't know. It's not a color that I, like always reach for but I really enjoyed that and then I had teddy bear this is just like a dark nude color I threw in a couple of my Gerard cosmetics liquid lipsticks these are so old these are probably at least at least six years old um they still perform beautifully they don't smell off they they wore beautifully um 
I just am not a huge fan of liquid lipsticks. As I have said time and time again, even in this age of masks, I just don't, just something about the way they look, I, I don't know. I just am not a fan, so I'm going to get rid of both of these. And then rounding out with glosses, this is the Fenty Cream Gloss in Bubble Binge. I think I only wore this once, uh, but I really like it. Just this obviously super punchy uh, blue-based pink. And then I had my Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Topaz in here. This is lovely. I topped just about everything with this. Um, <laughs> liquid lipsticks, the Teddy Bear uh, Milani lipstick. I just love these. They're really beautiful, super, you can, I don't know if you can tell, but I have actually used quite a bit of this. Um, yeah, some of my favorite glosses, but that's it. Um, the only, not really a whole lot to speak of as far as mascaras. I still have the same ones in here. I have a little sample of the Lancome Lash Idole, which you know I love. I have my Essence, the False Lashes, which I've been using like crazy, which I love. And then this is almost gone, the Dalton Effort Lash XL. This is a gorgeous mascara. Like this was um, a shock to me how much I have loved this. This will probably, I'll probably be done with this, um, this next rotation but really, really enjoy that. Uh, but that's it, let's pick some new things out. Okay, starting with base as usual. Um, the first thing I wanna grab, the, this foundation has been on my mind, the, uh, ah, the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better foundation. I love this, I love this, and I have not been giving it enough love, so. I'm going to throw that in. As far as uh, primers, this one has been on my mind as well. This is the Milani Bright Side Illuminating Primer. I really like this. I know that I have my Auric in there too, but you can never have too many glowy products in my opinion. Um, and what else? You know what? I want to show this some love too. I don't know why. I'm like never in the mood for a pore filling primer, but I haven't used this in so long. My Clarins Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch Primer. So I'm going to throw that in too. Why not? Um, concealer. I want to... use. I kind of want to just go back to basics and use my Neutrogena. This is the Radiant Cream Concealer. I feel like I should be able to get done with this, like if I really focus on this. So I'm going to throw that in. Um, and what other, I want to throw in another, one other foundation product. Uh, this is one that I have not used in forever, the Radiant Longwear. I have the shade, Pun, uh, shade Punjab. So let's do this. I want to throw that one in as well. And then powder, let's just go with my Haley's. Haven't used that in a minute. Uh, I don't know. There, it's all the same to me. Um, and then let's move on to cheeks. I'm going to grab some things from the jump that I know I want to use. I just got these in the mail yesterday. I bought two of the new Rare Beauty, um, what's the name of these? The bronzer sticks that she came out with. Like they're called the Warm Wishes bronzers or something. I bought um, Happy Soul and It's Always Sunny or... <laughs> It's called Always Sunny. I'm sorry. I'm probably going to continue to call it that because I just, it reminds me of the show It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Anyway, I digress. So I definitely want to use those two. Um, I still have my nude sticks in there. But you know what? I have really enjoyed having a powder bronzer in there to use as well. So I think I want to continue with that. And I actually want to show this some more love too. The uh, Vive Modern Bronzer Bronzing Duo. So I have the shade Medium. We're gonna throw that in there too. I want to use that a little bit more 
blush uh i also picked up she came out with a few new shades of her blush here i got the shade you're not going to be able to see that i got the shade encourage i have never tried a rare beauty blush thought i would give that a try um i also want to use these two i want to give my tower 28 some more love that is one of my favorites I also want to use this new doll 10 blush a little bit more this is in your making me blush I want to use that um and I think that's all I'm going to do for blush this go around highlight I truly have no idea what I want to use oh what is that what is this oh okay um I don't want to throw this in there just to like make it a rare beauty party so I'm gonna do that I know I have my auric in there still but let's throw a powder highlight in here as well um you know what let me throw this in here because ever since my last declutter I I don't know how I feel about keeping this <laughs> this is the Jaclyn Hill iced highlighter so let's throw that in as well get some more thoughts on that um okay so i'm gonna do palettes i have not 100 percent decided how i want to do this i think i am going to i'm gonna go ahead and randomize them i'm going to see which three that i get however if it picks something that i have already used or that i've used recently um, i'm going to respin so just know that um, I will screen record and I will show you the whole process. Uh, but if there, there, there are a few palettes that I kind of want to go ahead and pick on my own. So I don't know. Let's see. All right, so this is the palette selection. I know you saw the Enchanted palette, but I forgot to update that app since my palette declutter. I have about 15 palettes that I no longer have. So the Enchanted is actually one that I got rid of. So I went ahead and I just picked my Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 3 because I've been having massive guilt that I have not used this palette yet. So. We got Orange Sorbet, Edge of Reality, and Tanessa Myricks. Very, very eclectic uh, choices there. I'm kind of excited. I'm sitting here debating if I want to pick another palette. Um, I don't know if I do because part of me kind of wants to reach for some singles here. Uh, I don't know. I just have really been into using my single shadows. So these two were just in. So let's take those out for a second. I do have the two new Auric Smoke Reflex. I have Entice, which is the olive green. Disrupt is the cranberry. I wore this yesterday and it's just... I mean, it wasn't my first time wearing it, but I got so many compliments on my eyes. I mean, these are just stunning, you guys. They really are. Um, but what do I want to do? I might want to use some things that I haven't used in a while here. Maybe I'll just throw in some random color pop. Let's just like throw in some browns because that might be nice to kind of like anchor these <laughs> palette choices a little bit. None of them are really neutral. So let's just throw these three in. Those are from the Wild Child collection. And um, do I want to throw in another one? You know what? I do. Let's put in 
I'm going to use this one. This is the Revlon Color Stay in 710 Caramel. Do you say caramel or caramel? I usually say caramel, but the way that this is spelled, like you have to say caramel. So let's put that in there too. Uh, like I said, it'll just kind of be nice to have some neutrals there with those palettes. Lips, um, I might choose quite a few here. Um, I'm trying to think of, okay, look at my palettes. I definitely need to have something neutral. Um, I want to use, uh, I have not used this yet. This is my Dalton uh, lip crayon in, what is this shade? In the shade, uh, this is the shade Smoking Hot. So let's do that. I don't know if I want... I'm not sure that I want like a, mm, I don't know that I want a super bold lip because all of those palettes are quite bold. Let's do this. This is Milani uh, Bold Matte in I Am Smart Matte Beauty, which is another nude. And let's go up to what is this. Oh, I've used that one recently. That's Revlon. Um, hmm. I really like this one. This is Spiced Petal. Let's do this one too. Is there a gloss that I want to use? I don't really... I'll just grab a lip liner as I need it. Um... Maybe I should, should I use another Maybelline. I really liked using these. I have a brass and petal. Let's do brass. Petal is very, very pigmented. It's almost like a like a lipstick, honestly. I think that's it. I truly think that's it. Everything I want to use. Let's do some swatching. Uh, let's just start with lipsticks. I'm gonna swatch all of them in one swoop here that first one is matte what did i say matte beauty i have i am smart and then i have the doll 10. and a gloss and i'll show these to you okay so we have the matte beauty I am smart, the doll 10, and then my gloss. So similar, but different, which I love. Oh, huh, I forgot spiced petal. I knew I had another one. Okay, there's, these are actually all quite similar, especially these two here, but that's the spiced petal from Flower Beauty. Super excited about those shades. Some are obviously more neutral, some are more pink. That one is a little bit more brown, but like I said, enough variety that I'm, I'm good with that. Let's swatch these single shadows that I got here. This is the Revlon one. Ugh, I love this shade. So, so pretty. Okay, and here's my four single shadows. I hope that the beauty of these is picking up. So we have the Revlon. Then we have my three ColourPop ones from the Wild Child collection. You have uh, Free Rain is the first one here. Then you have Basic Instinct. Like, can you even tell how beautiful that is? And this last one, Run Wild, is probably my favorite. I actually wear this one the most out of the three. There are like some pink glitters in this. Like, I don't know if that is going to pick up for you, but super excited about these. Again, like similar, but enough variety that I'm very pleased. So let's swatch some cheek products here. We'll do my blushes. 
Wow. Okay. So I'm super excited about these two. So this here is the Tower 28. That's Magic Hour. This is that Doll 10 blush. And look how gorgeous it is. Oh, it's like, so it is a cream, but it feels like it's going to dry down, like it's going to dry down to a powder. It feels lovely. And then that is the new Rare Beauty, you guys. Look at that shade. That encourage it's like a it's a cool toned like dusty pink oh the formula of this feels great too like it's super super pigmented but it I do feel like there's enough like playtime with it we'll do my bronzers right uh hmm well, these are going to go over that mink swatch here, but oh well. So, oh my gosh, these are lovely too. Oh, I'm so excited to use these. So that is Happy Soul. That's the lighter of the two. And then this is Always Sunny. But I remember them being described as like, um like lightweight, uh, effortless, and that really is kind of how they feel too. Like these, they feel like they're going to dry down to a powder again on your skin. Like they're, they're blending super easy. I love the tones of both of those. Cannot wait to try those. Powder bronzer, the Jamie Genevieve. Well, Vive, okay. It's Jamie's brand. I don't know where to swatch these, where you'll be able to see them. Let's see. I'll try to do them on my palm here. I'm excited to use this a little bit more too. Like I said, I, I don't feel like it's something I've shown quite enough love to. So there's the lighter shade and the darker shade. Yeah, excited for that. And then highlight, we have the Jaclyn highlighter, which you already know is like super in your face. <laughs> true, true to form. And then the Rare Beauty. This is one of my favorite highlights that I have tried all year, you guys. It's just stunning. The orange sorbet. Um, ugh, gorgeous. I don't really know how in the mood I'm going to be for orange looks these next few weeks, but oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. The mattes are just so smooth and the shimmers stunning stunning oh okay I might have to make myself in the mood for an orange look ABD edge of reality palette I love this palette you guys I really do I really don't think that it got near the shine it deserved look at those shimmers the mattes are gorgeous. I love playing with this palette. Truly, I do. Every chance I get, I love it. There's those. I am certain you can't get this palette anymore, but man, am I happy I got my hands on it. Oh, wow. Which shades do I want to swatch? Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is just a damn shame that I have not used this yet. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. Are you seeing the shifts on these? 
Oh, I cannot wait to use these. Now, I need to pick one of these to be my one week, one palette too. And truthfully, I think that this one, the KBD, is going to be the most, this is going to be the most versatile. And this is what I'm going to pick. I'm going to do my one week, one palette with this because I can use it all like for one cohesive look. I can also use just the mattes with the other two palettes in here. So I just think that I will get, this is going to be the most, you know, bang for my buck, so to speak, for the next week. So um, that's it. That is a look into what I'm going to be using for the next however long. I don't know how long this will be, probably several weeks, but hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. I love Shop My Stash videos. If you like them as well, give me a like, subscribe. I would love to have you stick around. See you next time. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves and take care of each other, beauties.